Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the Lance Armstrong incident and my take on some of it. However, a lot about how I personally feel about drugs in sports and the drug testing in sports and how completely useless it is and how all of our athletes are on 17 drugs despite the testing and they have been for 35 fucking years and it's not going to change in your or my lifetime. It's already been expressed by my friend Mark Lobliner over at Tiger Fitness and I'm gonna link his video here and down below and do this as a video response to it. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. All right, so if you wanna know my take on a lot of that, just watch Mark's video because he and I agree on that. We're both people who've been in the inner circles a little bit with some of this. We know pro athletes. We've known pro athletes. We know a lot about drug testing. We know how this works. We know that it's a big PR stunt and that all of our athletes have been doped. We know for a fact it started 50 years ago and our governments are all in on it. The U.S. government and the Russian governments are the ones who started this whole thing. They funded all of it. They required that our athletes be drugged 50 years ago and it wasn't optional. You didn't take the drugs, you were not on the team. Period. You didn't go to the Olympics. We know that. Now, a lot of people are naive and they don't know that, but I know that. Mark knows that. We, we've been around this a while. So, what I want to address is the question that people ask of what message does this send our children? It's a very good question. Here's the problem that we have. The message that this fair play and sports thing we have does send a good message to the children because we live in a striated society where only a small percentage of people can be successful. We have chosen to use a capitalist system and a competitive type job market and a competitive economy. This is what we've chosen as a society. I'm not necessarily completely happy with it because I'm, I'm a liberal politically. I'm pretty far to the left, but I accept that that's the reality. And that's the reality that we live in. And accordingly, we need to prepare our children for that social reality. However, the problem is that this ethic that we are teaching, that if you play by the rules and you play fair, and that winners never cheat and cheaters never win, is a false ethic. It is a lie. It's not only false in sports, and you are setting them up for failure and not telling them the truth that if they want to go pro in their sport, they're not only going to have to have the best genetics and bust their ass day and night, but they're gonna to have to pop themselves full of 17 different drugs. So we're lying to them there. And then on top of the fact is that we're setting them up for failure in life. We are setting them up with this message to dig ditches, to flip burgers, to at best be in lower management. They're not going to be successful in our economic system and our society with that mindset because it doesn't work that way in the real world. You have to be willing to work harder and have no limits. There cannot be things that you are not willing to do or sacrifices you're not willing to make to make it in the system that we have, and that's the reality. It is a competitive job market, and you have to be looking for an unfair advantage. If you want the job more than the next guy, you have to make sure that you're more qualified than him. You have to do whatever it takes to get a better education, go to a better school, to make him look bad, to do things to make yourself look better to get the job. You have to be willing to cheat. The same thing in business, when you get far up in a company, you have to be willing to do some insider trading if you can, do, do corporate espionage, corporate spying. You have to be willing to break the rules to stay on top and to succeed in our society. And you have to be willing to make those compromises or you're not gonna make it. Instead, if you want your children to grow up to be CEOs, you want them to grow up to be massively successful people in the system that we currently have, you can't teach them this false ethic. You're setting them up for failure. And that's true of anything you want in life. If there is something that you want in life bad enough, you're going to have to be willing to do whatever it takes to reach that goal. And it doesn't matter whether we're talking about professional athletes 
or a business endeavor or anything else in life. You have to be willing to push the rules, bend the rules, and then break the rules if you can get away with it in order to be the best at anything or to be massively successful because we live in a competitive society. We have a competitive economic system. We have a competitive job market. And as far as I'm concerned with these athletes, this is nothing more than business. People are talking about, oh, they're liars or this or that. And guys, this is business. These are people who are fighting and competing for jobs that pay millions of dollars. And I can promise you that just about anyone out there who's ever struggled financially, and a lot of these athletes have, they come from impoverished backgrounds, you will cheat and lie for a shot at $10 million. I promise you, you will. So we get judgmental about this and we don't realize that this is business. This is about money. It is not about integrity. People don't have integrity in business. Business is designed for whoever is willing to do whatever it takes to get ahead will do so. That is the way our capitalist system is set up, and this is part of that system. It's no different. It really seems bizarre to me that people make this judgment when this is about business. It's not about fair play. This is about a competitive environment where people are competing for millions and millions of dollars. And it's no different than if you were competing for a corporate job with someone else that pays six figures or even seven figures. You're going to do whatever the hell it takes to win and to be the best and to get that job. And if you don't, then someone else will. So if you're not willing to do that, then you don't have to worry about getting the job. And it's the same whether you're talking about sports or whether you're talking about business. It's all the same at the end of the day. And so we need to really question what ethic are we teaching our children given the type of society that we have chosen to live in and what we have chosen to use. By giving this message, we're not setting our children up to succeed. We need to just be honest with them and tell them the truth if you want them to be successful. But guys, that's just my opinion on it. And my rant's over on that. That's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you next time.